Hello everyone. So in this video, let us take a look at this uh, really interesting question related to reports on the community. Now the question from uh, Sushmita is that is it possible to pull a Jira report that would show how many requests were closed by the original due date, how many requests uh, got pushed out. So basically the question is uh, can we find out from Jira without using any app. Issues based on due date, but not just uh, due date, but also based on, uh, uh, let us say, a transition date or the date when the issue is resolved. So basically the requirement here is to compare two dates. So unfortunately, this is not really possible on Jira Cloud, I guess also on Jira server without using any app. If you're using script now for Jira on server, you can definitely uh, do that, but uh, on cloud, there is no way to do it. And there is also a feature request, by the way. If you take a look at the feature request, uh, you can, I mean, definitely vote for it. Uh, let me vote for it right now. So, you know, I'm doing my bit. And uh, the question here is that, uh, uh, I mean, the, the if you look at the request, it says ability to compare date fields using JQL. And uh, this is, of course, you know, uh, something that Atlassian might do in future and, uh, you know, might not do, you never really know. So I wanted to actually share that there is a way to, or not really a straightforward way, but there is a way to basically use automation, automation rules uh, to figure out this list of issues that were uh, maybe that got pushed beyond their due date. Now what you can do is um, for something that is based on due date, clearly on the basis of due date, you can definitely write a JQL like, you know, based on uh, that date, you can find out if these issues are past their due date or not. Now, when, you, when it comes to actually comparing, for example, let us say that due date is 20th of January, and the issue was resolved on 25th or 21st, what you can do, you can write for an automation where uh, whenever the issue is transitioned from uh, any state to, let us say, the trans uh, let us say the last status, which is, let us say, done or resolved or closed, whatever, whatever works for you, you can actually re write one or basically create one issue, uh, one, one rule based on uh, this trigger and simply update a custom field or maybe update uh, a label. I think custom field prob is probably better so that you can uh, also use, um, maybe you can calculate numbers purely in terms of numbers like difference between due date and resolve date. If it is, let us say, positive, it means that um, it, uh, it means that, you know, that this issue was resolved two days after or three days after the due date. And I'm saying here number because or custom field, number custom field because I think uh, you may want to export it in Excel or maybe you want to, because when you have this number, you already have this calculation with you. And uh, <clears throat> what you can do is, of course, you can create this rule and uh, make it, uh, I mean, the scope, I believe, uh, should be or could be, I think should be project specific so that uh, you don't really count towards the execution. And when you have this automation rule, um, whenever the issue is transitioned, it will check. And by the way, using automation rules, you can actually do date comparison. So that is a possibility. And uh, uh, that is, of course, a wonderful thing. And by the way, I have covered this in my videos. I'm just trying to give you a workaround, which in a way, it's not really, I, I would not say it's a trick or a workaround, but it is a way to do it. I mean, because if you cannot really do it using JQL, which I understand is ideal, but uh, uh, you can still use the automation rules and achieve this requirement. And I thought I'll probably share this with, 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 with all of you today. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.